All right, now that the initial slide and project is set up, I can go ahead and just move ahead and build out the common elements. The common elements being anything that I'm gonna use throughout my project. Uh, that can include my buttons, my uh, feedback boxes for correct and incorrect, the little marker graphics that we're gonna use here on the game board. But doing these ahead of time just means that I don't have to uh, recreate something that I'm using over and over every time I need it. it saves a lot of time that way too. I'm gonna create a new scene real quick and I'll just use this as sort of like my artboard scene. Uh, elements and maybe I'll delete this at the end of the project or I'll save a new version but I'm just gonna use this as a place to hold those graphics that I'm gonna create so the first thing I'll work with is that marker uh, game board marker I already built these out actually in in Photoshop but um, you know a lot the similar shape could easily be created here in, in storyline but I just built them ahead of time really to save time here on the production so let me double click it in the timeline and name it so bit button Marker one, and if I click the States tab, I can drill down into the object and I'll make a hover state for it. And I already created that graphic too. That's just gonna show a visual feedback change when the learner mouses over the button. Call this one correct. So we wanna actually indicate which questions the learner answered correctly. And one more for, can you guess? Incorrect, and right click change picture. Gotta love that change picture. Okay, so there's my four states for this. Click done editing states. And I'll just move that off to the side. Also using two different types of buttons in this project. I'm using a submit button and a continue button. Right, super simple, could make these things pretty fast, but Obviously the benefit to the buttons is uh, by having them, just make this at 100% so I can see. And I will add a hover state for the button. Just make this a little bit lighter. Okay, and I'll call that one button submit. And I'll make one more for my continue button. And I just have a different continue button really just so uh, we can add some visual contrast on the slide to indicate that there's a different option now for um, the learners. So now change that one to And there we go. So nothing too fancy, just a couple different buttons and that'll be good. Now I already have my colors, so I'll just use those for uh, the feedback slides. But at this point, uh, this will help me uh, build out those initial uh, graphics as I can pull from. I'll make a couple of these. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just copy this one and drop it over here on my initial game board. This is the uh, first question, and I'll move it around one of these locations, but this will be the first button that we use to uh, ask the first question. Yeah, so at this point, we're all set up for the elements. Uh, the background graphics have already been added, and then the feedback boxes that we'll use and the question choice boxes, I'll make those when I actually get to the slide because I'm just gonna duplicate the slides each time, so I don't have to worry about uh, creating those here and then moving them. I'll just actually use the slide for reference. So we'll do that in the next tutorial.